Hi all, welcome to C++ tutorial on Tooth Fulcrum. This session is on overloading the pre-increment and post-increment operator in C++. So in our previous sessions, we were discussing in detail what operator overloading is and what are the various methods by which you could overload an operator. And also we have seen the significance of overloading an operator in C++. So we have seen that we could implement this overloading as a member function or as a frame function of the class. And we were discussing with the unary operator overloading in our previous sessions. And we have seen an example of overloading the unary operator pre-increment as a member function and also as a frame function of the class. So now let's see how to overload a post-increment operator. Let's see it as a member function of the class. So how do you differentiate between the pre-increment and post-increment operator? The symbol represents the same, right? For pre-increment and post-increment, the operator symbol is the same. So what was the symbol? So the symbol for representing the increment is plus plus. So whether it is pre or post, this is the symbol that we use to represent the increment operation. Now, where you use this symbol? Do you use it before the operand or after the operand is what that differentiates whether it is a pre or a post increment. So, if my operand is say A and if I use this symbol before my operand. Now, this is a pre increment operation. Whereas, if I have used the operator after my operand, this is a post increment operation so this is what differentiates the pre and post increment operation we have seen this in detail in our previous sessions now let's see how we are going to overload these operators as pre and post so before going to that let's quickly recollect the rules for overloading the operator so we have seen that if you want to overload a unary operator as a member function of the class there should not be any arguments to the operator overloaded function same way if you are overloading a binary operator as a member function of the class then there should be one argument and overloading a unary operator as a friend function of the class there should be one argument and overloading a binary operator as a frame function of the class requires two arguments to the function. So let's see how we are going to overload the pre and post increment operator. So let's quickly recollect from what we have done in the previous session how we have overloaded the pre increment operator as a member function of the class. So we had implemented this function. So I am writing only the operator overloaded function here. I am not writing the class. So it was like this. The return type of my function is void. And the function name is operator followed by the symbol that you use to represent your operator. So it is plus plus here. And since it is implemented as a member function of the class, there should not be any arguments to the function. So this is how, so here you can write the body of the function. We have implemented this in the last session. So this is how you overload a pre-increment operator as a member function of the class. Now, what will you do for overloading a post-increment operator? How are you going to overload the post-increment operator as a member function of the class? So in this case, how do you invoke this overloaded function so say if obj was your object you invoke by plus plus of obj this will invoke the operator overloaded function now let's see about the post so if it's a post increment and we are going to do it as a member function so what is the rule so before going to the rule, how do you invoke the same? If obj is your object, how do you write the statement to invoke the operator overloaded function? 
it's obj plus plus so this is a post increment operation that is happening here so let's come back to the implementation of this function let's say the function is not returning anything so it is void now the function name is operator followed by the number of arguments so what is the rule whether it is pre or post increment operator it is a unary operator and if you are overloading a unary operator as a member function of the class there should not be any argument but if you follow like this right this is the symbol you need to have the symbol here followed by the argument but if you look at this how will you differentiate these two functions pre and post you cannot redefine a function right you cannot redefine that so how do you resolve this ambiguity if you are implementing this here it's not going to differentiate the two functions and it's going to create ambiguity between the pre and post so how do you resolve this ambiguity for this recollect the concept of function overloading what was function overloading reusing the function name provided the function should differ in the number either the number of arguments or the type of arguments or the order of arguments so we are going to use this concept here so if you want to overload a post increment or let it be a decrement operator there is an exception for the rule so for the post increment operator overloading you should pass a dummy argument to your operator overloaded function so i will pass an integer argument here let's call it as x this is a dummy argument dummy means what you are not going to use this in the function body it is just for the purpose of resolving this ambiguity that we pass an argument though it's an exception to the rule for overloading the operator so for the post increment or let it be a decrement operation you need to pass a dummy argument in order to fix this ambiguity what we have seen here so keep this point in mind overloading a post increment or a decrement operator requires to pass a dummy argument so if you pass a dummy argument now you could reuse the function name operator plus plus here operator plus plus here but it differs in the number of arguments for the pre increment operator you have zero argument but for the post increment you have one argument so this is differentiated by the count of argument the function it takes so you can reuse the function name that is operator followed by the symbol so this is how you overload a unary post increment or decrement operator in c++ let's take the code implement it and see the output so let's first create a class let's say we have the class tut fulcrum i'm going to add the data member a let it be private now i'll add the public data members of the class or public member functions let me add a okay i have added a default constructor here which is initializing the data member a with a value 10 okay now i am going to add the operator overloaded function so okay let me keep the return value as int and uh, the function name is operator followed by the symbol now we have seen that as we are going to overload a post increment operation we need to add a dummy variable a dummy argument to the function so i have taken the dummy argument as an integer entity now what is this function doing it is incrementing the value of your data member now let's invoke all these within the main all right now first let me create an object to the class so tut fulcrum 
obj so let obj be the object of my class and the moment you create your object the constructor gets invoked where you're initializing the value of a with 10 now let me invoke the operator overloaded function so my function is returning an entity okay let me return the result here the incremented value is returned here so let me use a variable say y to in receive the result of the operator overloaded function now how do we invoke the same obj plus plus this will invoke your operator overloaded function so this invokes the operator overloaded function all right now let's use a cout statement and let's try to print the value of y and check our output okay done so what will be the output for y so initially the value of a is 10 because the moment you create your object it invokes the constructor where you are initializing the value of a to 10 so after that this statement end y is equal to obj plus plus this is going to invoke your operator overloaded function so what happens here you are doing a post increment operation of the data member a so when it is the post operation always the old value of the operand will be the result of the operation so that is what is the old value before updating a it is 10 so that 10 will be returned and who is receiving that 10 y so if you print the value of y here it will be 10 so your expected output is 10 so let's run the code and verify our output So, all right our program works fine and we are getting the expected output y is equal to 10 so this is how you overload a post increment or it could be a decrement operator in c plus plus you can try out the same using the friend function also only difference is you will have to pass a dummy argument with the post operation thank you so much for watching Please do like, share, comment and subscribe and please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You'll get notified whenever we upload a new videos. Thank you.